Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, this is Team Meeting 19, and in this meeting we'll be discussing. Um, oh, sorry, uh, we'll be discussing the, the uh, social media uh, for July, uh, some marketplace updates, some woodblock updates. We'll have some questions from the faculty, um, and perhaps we'll have a follow-up on the. Uh, uh, on the ethics we discussed yes uh, last uh, uh, ethics of using Facebook which we discussed last week but now I'll give, bring you over to Rob hello um, let's uh, go over the uh, social media June and the content marketing and any updates uh, Daniel you had some stuff you wanted to uh, show about um, YouTube and feeds etc or, no, yeah. or was um, yeah, we have. Uh, what we've been uh, uh, in last week, we were very active, creating videos and uh, making videos, and we actually uh, I saw us did an analysis of the uh, of our Google Analytics of uh, about the videos that we sh that we're showing and what impact it has on our other people who come in to visit the site, and it seems to have a positive impact. On people visiting our site, uh, visiting the site, uh, the marketplace as well as the uh, uh, as well as the um, the main website. Uh, these are the video. This is the update for last week on people who are actually. Is that from, is it, it's, yeah, for, oh, sorry for the for the yeah, for the last month of people who have been viewing our videos. So you see that what's it that our our a planner on tour that we just that we had last week. This is the edited version, the one that I added the Jacob Applebaum video to that was very, uh, very popular video. Uh, yeah, our Jacob Applebaum, just the description of what is tour and how is it used, uh, which I added uh, added as well or made public as well, which is also extremely popular. Uh, our team meeting th seventeen, I don't know what we said in there, was quite popular. Uh, in the last month, for the rest of we've, uh, we've uh, our player on, tour, on Facebook was uh, was 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 uh, well watched. I put in uh, I uh, neglected in the last for these last videos to put them on on Canvas in, dis in the discussion forums. So I've now done that put them all in the discussion for for as well. So that's if there is uh, if there are any faculty who missed it or don't follow us on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus that they actually got a chance to uh, view it there, or that they'll have a chance to view it there, and I'll make sure that I've added it to my list of uh, things to update when I uh, post new things that I uh, things to um, the discussion for as well. Uh, uh, last week we had uh, something very interesting happen with uh, one of our with with one of the large MOOCs. Uh, the, somebody pulled out of a MOOC, uh, or one of the professors pulled out of the MOOC, and I thought that it was very wise for us to comment on that, at least to say that something like that, such as a professor deleting every, all his content, or suddenly uh, uh, going haywire, is something that we uh, absolutely want to avoid. So that we that we take extra care that we're not uh, getting uh, what's it, that we're not getting. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you, how you term it. So, it, but in my uh, in my terms, perhaps erratic behaviour uh, from our professors. So, so that we uh, that's something that we try that we're trying to uh, that we'll uh, that we'll certainly address, and that's so we come up with a proper solution uh, if uh, if something strange were to happen, such as that. And there was a discussion also on the possibility that this would have been an experiment by this faculty member, Uncle Sarah, on uh, was it on exploding of, on trying to uh, damage Coursera in some way. And uh, of course, that's, uh, we don't we don't condone experiments on people, as we've said in our Facebook video as well. Because this is absolutely uh, not something that we uh, that we would want to have uh, happen to our our students, at least without their knowledge. I mean, if they were if they wish to participate in any type of experiment or any type of uh, <coughs> program, then of course we would be quite we're quite happy to let them participate. But uh, otherwise, it's uh, absolutely a no go. Uh, as for the uh, other social media updates we've been getting. Uh, I've been running two two uh, of my own uh, uh, of my own programs. Uh, one whereby we're, we update the Facebook and the Twitter uh, with a certain number of a number of data 
and we update LinkedIn and Google Plus with other data, with other data which is slightly different, to see whether there's a, uh, whether there's any difference in what in people what people uh, uh, what their uh, reaction to it is, and uh, basically a, a very simple A/B test. Um, there's there's not very much difference in the way they're uh, reacting. They're still we're still getting the same number of clicks. Uh, both uh, which we try to we've, we've been stopping posting the negative news. Uh, also, to have, uh, and so we're uh, so we're getting uh, getting slightly less interaction still, but we're still getting positive. Uh, we still have our lover, uh, people who love us on Facebook who click and like everything that we post, uh, and uh, we have people who love us on, on Google Plus who cl uh, click and like everything that we post there. So uh, I'm very happy about that. So that we that we that we've found a gr found a, gr a small group of people who really really uh, interact with all that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, and of course your your job listing it was extremely it was it was extremely popular as well. There, there are people who uh, who are quite happy to see that we're expanding in this way. The the what? Your job your uh, your your request for a uh, marketing. Uh, oh sure. Somebody interested in marketing. That was that was quite popular. I mean, uh, besides from under us, also uh, of some of the some of the faculty and some of the our followers who don't usually. Uh, interact with our uh, or don't or don't consistently interact. There, they, uh, they, a lot of them liked it as well. Uh, or they uh, they tweeted it or they uh, or they uh, plus it on the plus. Uh. Yeah, the the angel list um, uh, numbers in terms of the people who are accessing us, um, accessing our profile after my uh, update and cleanup of our profile. They said it was about at a uh, hundred, a hundred and twenty. Um, in terms of uh, people who are looking for employment or more interested in the player uh, so yeah that's all good I, I am very excited to you know get that marketing get a marketing person on board beca um, because uh, the fact is that you know we've got enough to do each one of us and um, this is an area of you know special expertise especially now when we've yeah. got to uh, you know we, we can't be the three of us, as good as we are, we cannot be expected to. Do, uh, we we can't be doing that. Uh, in addition, so uh, that's that's good. Um, Dan, uh, do you want to add anything in terms of uh, what you've seen online or the you know the interactions and such? Um, no, I mean I you know I constantly and consistently see. That we're gaining traction and, and new followers and people engaging, especially on Twitter. I think Facebook is cyclical right now, which is fine. Um, just I think it mirrors our stage of development. You know, it's kind of a slow burn, um, slow growth until our content really picks up and there's a conversation about us rather than coming from us. So I, I, you know, I think it's good and on point, and uh, you know, not disheartening in any way. It's I think it's uh, totally appropriate. I, I think we've cut. Yeah, I think we've hit a plateau in what the three of us can accomplish. Um, you know, we could keep pounding that, but with everything else that's going on, um, yeah, we've hit the plateau, and so we need to get. Um, you know, take it to the next level by having much more of a specialist involved in that. Um, Daniel, you want to talk anything? Any updates on the marketplace? Oh, I've, I've um, just wanted before we okay. go into the marketplace. The, uh, uh, the uh, what I did for the last couple of videos as well is I used uh, uh, what I don't know if you, if you have watched a lot of YouTube. There, you have a possibilities to create all kinds of little blocks in the corners that you can cl uh, click on. And I've especially been using these so that we can link to prior uh, and future videos so that we can get more interaction. So uh, so that people can actually see and, and uh, see uh, additional videos such as the, the um, so that they know what, what's going on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to post a video here because this week we're going to have a discussion on um, um, on two-factor authentication, which I think is very important. This is the, the possibility to that you have your uh, you can use your phone and uh, uh, and uh, use your phone as in addition to your uh, which to your username and password to make sure that it's actually you who is doing the, the updating of your uh, course listing or your material as well. And this will be very important when we do the link 
we would do the full link to um, uh, of the marketplace and uh, Canvas. This will be especially important so that people will only most people will be able to use their was it use their phone in addition to the password and of username or password to uh, to log in and make ensure that it's them who's updating their own courses and not some uh, some other person. And so the video is going to be posted here. Uh, and the and is also, to, no, go ahead. And there's also and, that um, really good video that you did about explaining how to. Um, change your faculty profiles on Marketplace. And then, you know, there'll be some other videos that we're going to add for a, for a help piece because uh, faculty really need to get involved in making sure their profiles are, are uh, you know, up to speed and, uh, and of good quality. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, let's... So the Marketplace update? Yep. Um, this week, the, uh, this week there have n I have not made any really major changes to the marketplace. We've had an issue with one of our faculty members. Uh, uh, he discovered that in one of the sizes that we have, uh, we have a responsive website. So depending on the size of your screen, it'll just show it slightly different. He his size of screen uh, was uh, one of the few ones that actually that had a bug whereby it was made it difficult to edit his profile. So this is one of the things that I'm, better, that I'm looking at today to make sure that uh, nobody else has this issue. Uh, if you have this issue, uh, you can click Control, uh, control Plus uh, or uh, Control, uh, control oh, sorry, or Command Plus. I'll put the, uh, in the text, I'll put, uh, put it, uh, a piece below here so that you can actually see what you can type. To actually, so you can get into a view, so you can edit it. Uh, but it's, that should be solved at the end of the day. But if you experience this problem already, then you now have to solve it. Excellent, excellent. Um, let's talk about uh, Woodblock. Um, I'll share some of my news on. Uh, um, so we've got uh, speakers are much more uh, set. Um, I'm spending time, you know, of course, uh, building and editing my. Uh, the, presentations I'm going to be making. Um, what really interests me is the response that we're getting from... I gotta go let my dog in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What, um, uh, what I'm... Uh, oh, we'll wait, we'll wait for Dan. Start up, yeah, we'll wait for Dan. Start up at home. It's the only way to go. It's too bad we can't read, read or see the pictures on uh, on the uh, refrigerator. I think that's a major way to figure uh, out someone's. When they, uh, if he has an HD camera, we can zoom in and see everything that's on his, on his refrigerator. Ah, but let's. But that's not appropriate, Daniel. No? <laughs> well, let's not do that. Um, so the update with Woodblock is yeah, presentations being um, more set, the discussion groups. Uh, on Friday, I sent out a call because one of the days, um, probably Thursday, um, we're going to spend a bunch of time talking about uh, students, what students want. And, and of course, students are, are welcome to spend any amount of time in Woodblock that they would like, um, interacting with uh, our faculty and talking about uh, the degree programs and and sort of how do we train people and educate people in this really crazy environment that we're living right now. Um, and so I've gotten about 10 responses. Uh, those responses are from my network of uh, former students all over the all over the planet, though with a, um, uh, a definite. In, um, uh, many more in, I'd say, 70% in the states. Uh, but I'm these. This group is great because it doesn't represent just the 18 to 21 year olds. We're going to have a fair amount of um, non-traditional students uh, and people without, um, and also people without college degrees, but who are doing you know really good work um, out in their communities or good work professionally. So. That'll add an interesting mix and leaven to the to the Woodblock group. Uh, talked with Craig Sadler um, 
uh, exchanging emails, so he's all set. Um, we're, uh, I'm, oh, uh, Jagger DePaula Kemp, Karma Birdhouse, is gifting us the use of this very amazing, probably the best conference room in Burlington, Vermont, um, on the top floor of Karma Birdhouse for the entire week for free, um, which is uh, great. They really believe in what we're up to. And um, they're also. We'll, we'll have to place a link to the video to whatever they do in the video in the comments below. Uh, here's a thank you. Uh, yeah, and and we'll also you know um, work on putting that on the woodblock site too. Yeah. Um, the woodblock page. Uh, they're also going to spread. I gave them the uh, the letter that we wrote to faculty in the community, so they're going to be spreading it through their networks. Um, through JDK and through Karma Birdhouse's network. So we might get some more uh, local play. I'll have kind of the final numbers um, in terms of registrations, but I think we're definitely above, um, in terms of uh, faculty, we're above uh, 12, which is great. Um, we need to make that number a bit higher, but uh, um, I was told that that was a uh, very good number for something right out of the bat. Um, you know, like this. So again, movement um, up woodblock. We're since we're going to be recording it, uh, it'll be a great you know source for uh, info for people and uh, and all kinds of good stuff. So uh, I'll send out an update at the end of the week, uh, writing up what we've got. You know, changes to the woodblock to be sent out to everyone and. Uh, you know, we're going to do some updates to the website, to the Woodblock website this week, and that's about it. Anybody want to add anything that they've kind of, you know, encountered in emails or communications? Just super positive. People are excited. Ready to go. Yeah, yeah for, think, for me as well. Uh, but, uh, we're getting a lot of we, uh, as soon as we announced Woodblock, we got a lot of uh, people liking us on Facebook, uh, or a number of people liking us on Facebook and replying to our posts. Uh, what I th we're, uh, uh, it'd be nice if we have a good list of uh, who's coming and a sh maybe a short description so we can uh, highlight those also on the Woodblock, uh, the Woodblock website, and, uh, and perhaps point to their uh, their own. Uh, their own sites or their own profiles, or their um, their marketplace profiles as well, uh, so that they can uh, be up to date there as well. Uh. Yeah, I've also contacted the um, the groups that are developing degrees um, via email to, uh, and we're going to be I've scheduled their meetings this week to talk with them about their involvement and where they're at. So uh, yeah, I'll give that update and get their permission. And maybe we'll just list the degree programs. Well, we've got a what we do have to spend a little time thinking of. Well, a bunch of time thinking of this week is while we've got Canvas that can act as a um, each of the Canvas profiles that can act as a hub. Uh, how do we want to record the data? Do we use the Wikispaces piece? Because uh, one of the really important things is to make this open to the entire internet, so uh, people can come in and check out what we're up to. And so, you know, what's the best way to do that? I think it's probably going to be the for the faculty groups when they're working. I think they're probably going to want to go on Canvas um, for, uh, but I think there's going to be a bunch of stuff that you know when we're talking about the degrees and and general education credits and such that we're going to want to push people to the, um, you know, mm -hmm. to be editing and doing the wiki. Yeah, I think I think there's an advantage in doing the wiki. Although uh, my experience with other conferences I've visited or uh, what's it uh, been uh, organized, uh, it's very important at the beginning to get volunteers who'll actually who'll who who will take that task on for them for the for the at least a part of the conference or for the, the uh, one day of the conference. So they their their task besides from visit, uh, visiting and taking part is to make sure that the wiki stays up to date. I know that you're going to be so busy that you're not going to be able to do it the right. whole time. Uh, I'll possibly have some technical issues that are, or technical things that I'm dealing with. Uh, so, uh, so perhaps one of the one of the visitors would like to uh, what it would like to volunteer now, or they can volunteer at the conference itself, or one of our online viewers can volunteer to keep to uh, keep track of these things and uh, and uh, for us in the wiki. 
Well, I'm, I'm going to, uh, one of the things that's going to be really important is people understand that, that whole process of um, sort of open source. And I'm going to spend uh, 15 to 20 minutes in that opening talk um, talking about the, you know, literally the advantages of the open piece and how to edit the wiki and going through the, those, you know, those basic pieces. Um, right off the bat because uh, that is as a teacher when I've used wikis and when they've been successful it's when you introduce that this is part of the culture right off the bat yeah. this is how we're going to do things versus trying to introduce it a little later on or even putting someone even introducing the notion that someone's in charge of you know posting stuff to the wiki um, you know you really want as many minds as possible uh, um, as many people as possible going on and doing, you know, existing within the pre-structure that we've created and then commenting and editing. And I'm hoping yeah. that what we can do is getting the, these feedbacks going, feedback loops and discussions where uh, we lose, we rapidly lose control of the agenda, meaning that yeah. um, that much more information is being inputted and discussed. We're not guiding things quite as, as much as would be at a normal faculty member, but we'll see culturally whether, you know, whether our faculty and the students are there yet. Some are going to be because they've dealt, you know, because some of them are my former students and they'll know how I like to operate, um, but, you know, some won't, so we'll see. So I'll yeah, I have, I have a question. I'll the process. Go ahead. I have a question regarding, a, li a little bit, of, partly regarding the, uh, the conference structure, because of course, if, if uh, where's, the the conference the idea is that mostly the plenary sessions are going to be organized and going to be uh, a, a reasonably fixed and then there's going to be a kind of an unconference whereby it's, whereby there's everybody's free to uh, bring in their own subjects on the what in whatever subject matter that's uh, what's it, that's uh, that time is being allocated to they'll be able to what's it, to discuss their own things and lead their own uh, portion of the uh, conference is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's uh, the working groups are just centered around people who are creating these degree programs. Okay, so uh, um, that's why I'm in contact with people who have uh, um, people who have in some they're creating a program right now and and working with them to. Uh, come and, and have an agenda of how they want to push their particular program forward. Uh, and, you know, that, that's a lot of hand-holding on, on their, you know, on their, on their pieces. It, it totally free form in terms of them adding. In terms of their subject matter, yes, but that's why we've also got inters interspaced with um, some of these working sessions, uh, presentations that will draw back, will focus back on uh, what we're trying to do at a planner now and, and how to do things. So, uh, yeah, no, it's a, it, yeah. I've got a handle on it right now. It's definitely um, in a, uh, um, in the chaotic state of creativity. And cool. so uh, I'm going to have to, you know, I have to adapt the methods that I'm using with the faculty, you know, with these leaders. Uh, depending upon their, you know, technical expertise and what they've got, um, and it's all, you know, very, it's all very personal. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll have more. Um, I'll definitely have more next week for people, and more updates on on who's going to be here and and uh, what they're going to be doing. Okay. And the other question was regarding the promotion of uh, what of Woodblock. Uh, where if we're currently doing only doing promotion within our own network or within our own networks, and whether we want to do there are there are a number of conference sites such as uh, uh, Confrise or uh, so Evernote. Of oh, not Ever no, what's it Everbright or Eventbrite, and there are a number of other places where we could also place uh, notices that we've uh, what's it that we're that we're hosting this uh, that we're hosting the Woodblock. And, uh, are we willing to go slightly larger than uh, what's it done currently looking at, or are we st are we going in the right direction? Well, 
let's post those on the let's post on those websites. I think I've got a structure that can handle about a hundred people. I can't handle a hundred people. Um, I'm not going to be able to handle a hundred people in Burlington. Um, right now, we're getting kind of. Um, I see I, I could say, a I could say on, uh, on Eventbrite that we have, the, because Eventbrite also allows you to do, to do uh, say, uh, with a free conference, do free ticketing, so that if you, if that we can say yeah, uh, there are only 20 tickets available via Eventbrite, for example. Mm -hmm. But the people, so the, yeah, but, well, here's the, you know, here's the experimentation piece. Um, uh, I would just open. I would open it up um, if we get inundated, which I don't think is going to happen. But if we get inundated, then we'll just close off in terms of participation, active participation. But um, you know, people are going to be able to to listen in and at least comment via Twitter, okay, yeah. and such on things. It's just organizing the smaller groups, okay, and making sure that you know that there is it's um, small and intimate. Where, yeah. where people can actually do the work of communicating um, with each other in, disciplinarily, okay, and then being able to come back and, and have a way for people to um, uh, form their own networks out, um, form their own networks in the group uh, outside. Yeah, um, yeah but, uh, then I, but then I can use I can basically set it up so that we have say unlimited of well not unlimited but what's it were but uh, say a hundred. Uh, Online tickets. This so people can actually write and put their email address in, so we can actually send them the, any of the links, uh, okay. so we don't overload our uh, overload our own systems, and then for, then say ten or twenty uh, of, uh, event based uh, or ten event of, uh, event uh, was it, tickets that they can actually use. Uh, so they yeah, can so they can actually ten in person yeah. ten in person events. Okay, yeah. but but I also you know, Daniel, um, it's also. We're designing this so that you don't have to come here to participate. That's another really interesting thing that all, people. All we have to do is so just take off the option online. It just says where from where will you be participating? And I'll just remove the Burlington Vermont option. It's just like you can only go online. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, great. Perfect. Perfect. Um, perfect. So yeah, I'll have more stuff on the wood block and how I um, think it's going to be in. Yeah, how I wanted to sort of organize um, next week, and then, but you know that's subject to uh, to change based on faculty and student needs, and ours. So, anything you guys want to add about woodblock? No. Okay. No, just that I think it's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to it, uh, especially yeah. hearing some of the speakers that have already. I've had a preview of the speakers, of course, and some of them are very yeah, exciting to have evolved uh, in the system. Yeah, it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see what uh, Kent says, what um, what Denise say, and and of course uh, Craig um, leading the discussion is going to be great. Is our what it is our uh, our friend from? Uh, Norway is he also participating? Far mm. friend from Norway. Yeah, he is the Arab of, uh, of Dougal. Oh, um, he can't. Oh. Um, he's he's going to be gone. Um, on a he's going to be outside contact in terms of the net. Okay. So he's oh. not. That's a shame. Yeah, but uh, he's um. I think he said he was going to be uh, trying to email or participate remotely, but no, he's very much excited about what we're up to, and uh, wants to do some type of event uh, later in the in the summer. He just can't make those dates. Okay. So, uh, let's go to questions from faculty. Was there only the one major one that we need to talk about in closed meeting, or? Um, yeah, I think that was just uh, pulled from the last meeting agenda. I don't think there were any sort of public address, public, yeah, meeting public. Meeting I got to a, be publicly addressed. I got a couple questions in from faculty in Woodblock about you know eating, about you know, hey, can we all have a dinner or something? And so um, I'm trying to arrange. 
I'm going to arrange that based on the numbers. And uh, of course, uh, you know, the lunches thing will just all probably head out as a group, and I'm trying to arrange some places where we can do that. Not to overload handies hmm. um, uh, nearby, which would be an absolute gas in terms of um, of uh, you know those free those free ranging discussions that occur at Handy's lunch, which are uh, which are awesome and hysterical at the same time. Okay, all right. Um, Facebook, uh, Facebook ethics and our involvement. Has anybody gotten any feedback from faculty on Facebook? I haven't either. I've, I was I was slightly surprised also that it's one of our uh, for the for uh, YouTube. It, it was one of the one of the videos which was seen least frequently. Yeah. I mean, of everything that we posted this weekend. So I was uh, yeah, yeah a little bit surprised about that fact. Uh, that's a bit, that people uh, either it wasn't clear enough what the video was about or. Or, they, or for the people who watched it, who didn't watch it very extremely longly, they just thought uh, it's not that. Uh, well, important. you're also forgetting the third option, okay? Which is we place those. I I place my video like when something really interesting like this happens. I place my video on my Facebook feed. So um, you know, who knows? Maybe they just you know edited it out or didn't include it in the used an algorithm not to include it in other people's feeds. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. No, but I actually, this is one of the reasons when I spotted this. One of the reasons that I posted it on Canvas as well, because I wanted to make sure that pe that our faculty, especially, would be able to see it. So, uh, yeah. There's no, uh, there was no hiding from us. Too. Yeah, we're. Um, I want to. Uh, you know, I still want more input. Maybe it's something that we also just bring up briefly at Woodblock and get people's sense. Um, but also, we'll talk with the marketing, you know, our marketing expert, because literally, from what I see in terms of the data, I don't think Facebook makes a huge difference for us. Um, but uh, and I didn't, yeah. And it just the news out of that neat organization gets you know nuttier and nuttier about um, what they're doing in terms of uh, data sharing and the experimentation. But yeah. we'll yeah, deal with that later. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about in open session? Uh, no, I don't have anything else. Um, I go ahead. No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Uh, I just say uh, for people to um, please check us out, our profile out on AngelList. Um, that's another place to check out different jobs and such that we're offering. Um, Especially on the more high-end management pieces, um, that you know, uh, if you're an, interested in teaching as a faculty member, our website and applying as a faculty, uh, that's the way to go. Um, but uh, I think people would be pretty interested in um, that whole crowdsourcing of uh, talent that's happening there, and you know, check it out. You can also see different, um, yeah, a, a different take on what a plan is up to and doing and who's following us. All right, so I think that's it. We'll um, sign off and go to closed session. Yeah. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. Yep, yeah. thank you all for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to make sure that any of the links that we mention or any of the videos that we mention will either be here in the what's it, in the video itself, so you can link on it, you click on it, or in the description, video description below. And uh, I thank you very much and have an excellent day and an excellent week.